Hi everyone. I need to preface this video by saying that my cat is currently I need to preface this video by saying that my cat is currently running around like a complete spaz. She doesn't like to play with me. She likes to play by herself. So she's currently doing that. Um it usually happens around the afternoon time right before she gets fed for the day. I hope you can't hear it, but if you can, there's nothing I can do about it. She might jump on the table, she might knock stuff over. We're just gonna have to roll with it because I need to film a video today and today I'm really excited to share an unboxing video with you. I don't know if I've ever done one, but I really wanted to share this one because normally I do unboxings over on my Instagram, which is normally where I post pictures of my food, my cat, and what I'm reading like any Instagram user basically, but I do typically do my unboxings on my stories. However, this package just came in the mail today and because I'm doing Vlogmas, I thought I'd make a good video. I hardly ever hear anyone talk about this box except for Acacia Ives and it is my absolute favorite box that I get. I have canceled all of my other book subscription boxes that I've had over the years, but this is one I've had for over a year and I'm excited about it every single time. So I wanted more people to be aware of it because I just don't think that people know it is out there. And that is the Strand Book Hookup box. It is a quarterly subscription, so it comes once a quarter and there are a bunch of different categories you can select books. There's a feminist box, I know that there's a kids box, there's literary fiction, there's nonfiction, and I was doing the literary fiction box for the past year and have generally enjoyed what I've received. They're always signed first editions of a new release in each box, and so a couple of quarters ago I got a signed first edition of There There. I also got a signed first edition copy of Sing Unburied Sing. They're ones that I'm really excited to have, and I love that they're always signed first editions as well. On top of that you also get a paperback backlist book and then some bookish goodies, and a lot of book subscription boxes include these goodies, but it's usually garbage that I don't want and end up having to throw away like little knickknacks and stuff. I don't really want those. Um, every All the goodies I've gotten in here have either been things I can eat, which are really nice, but also things that I might actually use. Practical items like a journal, a uh, tote bag, and a coffee mug. Uh, I did recently change my subscription to the sci-fi fantasy box. Uh, their customer service is really really excellent by the way. Um, you have to email them if you want to ever cancel or update your address or anything, which is kind of annoying and they should have a form that you can do that on, but they don't. But their customer service person is really responsive. So when I said, hey, I moved, please send my box to the right address. Also, uh, please change my subscription to the Sci-Fi Fantasy. They were like, no prob. In addition to all of that, they also always send you spoilers. So they will tell you what book's coming in the next box. And I, can't resist a thing like that. I don't mind spoiling myself on that. The rest of the things in here will be a pleasant surprise, but I really wanted to know what bu book was coming. So I did cheat and I know what the first edition in here is and I'm so excited about it. Enough preamble, let's open this box and I will show you what's inside. Okay, so this is the box. I'm going to start with the thing that I knew was coming and it is how Long Until Black Future Month by N.K. Jemisin. You might not have been around when I raved about the Broken Earth Cycle last year. It was the first book I read in 2017. It's the first time I can ever remember rereading a book in the same year I originally read it because I reread the fifth season again. I reread it in the late summer so I could prepare to read the other two books in the series in the anticipation of it being completed. Every book in that cycle has won the Hugo and I'm, I'm so glad that she won even though the fifth season was my favorite book in the series and I feel like it did lose some steam and I I didn't love the latter two books in the series as much. Uh, the series as a whole, I would highly, highly recommend. It's one of the best reading memories I have from the past couple of years, so I really want to get to more of her stuff. I haven't read any N.K. Jemisin at all this year, even though she does have some backlist stuff that I could get to. And as promised, it is signed. I'm really, really excited. Let's see. Dragons and hateful spirits haunt the flooded streets of New Orleans in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. In a parallel universe, a utopian society watches our world trying to learn from our mistakes. A black mother in the Jim Crow South must save her daughter from a fae, offering impossible promises. And in the Hugo Award nominated short story, City, The City Born Great, a young ki street kid fights to give birth to an old metropolis's soul. I'm so, so excited and so happy about this. 
On to the rest of the box. First thing that caught my eye was this. It is a pair of socks. One of my favorite pairs of socks I actually got in an earlier book hookup box. It's a pair of socks that has Russian dolls on it. I absolutely love them. And so this is a pair of socks that has constellations on it. I also actually have a pair of socks quite similar to this and I love them. Um, and these seem like really nice. Like they're not the kind of like crappy thin fabric that you sometimes get with novelty socks. These actually seem pretty nice. Oh, that's cute. They say shine bright on the feet. One foot says shine, one says bright. That's really sweet. There's another paperback in here. Ooh, and it is Blood Child by Octavia Butler. I am terrible because I read Kindred for a university class my freshman year of college, which was 2012. Um, and I we read Kindred and I absolutely loved it and have wanted to read more Octavia Butler since. I even got another one of her books for my birthday this year and I haven't read it yet, but I, I really want to. And now I, I like have no excuses because now I have two of her books that I haven't read. And I don't I don't know what Blood Child is about. Oh, it's, it's another collection of short stories. Awesome. Blood Child and Other Stories is a renowned author, Octavia Butler, only collection of shorter work and features the Hugo and Nebula award-winning stories Blood Child and Speech Sounds. These works of the imagination are parables of the contemporary world. Butler proves constant in her vigil, an unblinking pessimist hoping to be proven wrong, and one of the one of contemporary literature's strongest voices. If you're not familiar, Octavia Butler was a woman of color writing sci-fi fantasy in like the late 20th century. Um, she has had such a lasting impact on the the genre and the industry, and I really should read more of her stuff, so this is very exciting. <laughs> I also have this, which is fidget pop candy. It appears to be a, a container of candy that is shaped like a fidget spinner. Clever and cute. Um, I also have, ooh, this is very exciting. It is a black unicorn pin. I'm quite a fan of little pins. Uh, I put them all on my backpack for the most part, so this will be a really welcome addition. This is so, so cute. I, I absolutely love it. Ooh, and there's actually a third book in here, it looks like, which is, oh, it's a, it's a literary magazine. It is Clark's World, issue 145. I don't read, like, any literary magazines at all. So this is actually really nice. Um, I got one in my last book hookup box and haven't even looked at it at all because I'm terrible. So I should actually do that. This is really cool. It looks very uh, steampunky. From the inside, I don't think I've read any of these authors. So hopefully this will be really nice, you know, a nice introductory point. And it also has a uh, postcard inside. Last thing is a strand postcard. They usually come in the boxes as well, and I need to figure out something to do with them because um, I haven't actually used any of the postcards, but I should probably actually send them out um, or frame them or something. And this one is a Charlotte Bronte quote, I am no bird, no net ensnares me. Um, and then on the back, it just is, you know, like a strand, strand markings. And I really like Jane Eyre, so very cool. So that was what was in my book hookup box. Like I said, it's a quarterly box and it's $50, which I think is totally fair for the things that you get inside of it. Hopefully I've introduced you to something that you might be interested in. I shouldn't have to say this, but I will anyway. I am absolutely not sponsored by the strand or anything. I paid for this box myself very happily and um, I'm always really pleased with it. I just really want more people to know about it because I think it's such a great service and it gives me books that I actually really want. Like I canceled my book of the month subscription box uh, months ago because every month I was really disappointed in this election and then I felt obligated to pick something and I just kept picking something that I didn't really want or I kept skipping and then my credits just piled up over time. So I ended up just, you know, kind of using them all up and then canceling it which they don't make easy, by the way. Uh, you have to actually call, which is total crap. Kylie's trying to climb in the box, so I think that is a sign that it is time to go. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. Bye.